So this is an intro to baby wearing. Um, very basic information here. Um, if you know of any stores around you that sell carriers, that's a great place to go to get some hands-on help. Um, Thebabywearer.com is also a great website for getting information about um, carriers and how to use them, um, what to look for in a good carrier. Um, so this is just a basic intro. Um, this is sort of your basic sling um, that you often see around. And it just slips right on. Just a doubled piece of fabric. Quite easy to use. Um, folds down really small so you can take it in a um, bag or a purse. Which is one of the reasons that I love to have one around. Um, you can do a few different carries with it, uh, which I will do in some future videos. Um, good up to about 35 pounds. At 35 pounds, you're not going to be carrying them for hours because it is only on one shoulder. Um, but they're great for those quick trips to the store when you don't want to be fiddling with another type of carrier. Uh, next, we have a ring sling. This is quite a heavily padded one. Um, if you have a choice, I would recommend going with an unpadded or very lightly padded ring sling. Um, same type of idea, but it's adjustable. Um, a lot of sling, ring slings will have a loose tail, um, which I think makes them a little bit easier to adjust than this one. But I have been able to work with this one, um, and I was able to use it with Dawson from the time that he was a newborn, and it will do um, as well. So that's another good option. Then we have our May ties. Um, this is sort of a homemade brand. Um, Baby Hawk is one of the, the sort of larger brands. These ones you're just basically tying around your waist. Baby goes up against you in a seated position. And then your straps just cross. This provides you with... Um, support that you can carry them for a while. Um, doesn't take very long, again, to get them into it. Um, also folds down very small, so it's easy to, to take places. This is handy. This one you can do um, a front carry, back carry, or a hip carry. Um, all front carries would be facing in, uh, which they really should be anyways. Um, so this is a great option. Uh, again, newborn, um, up to about 35, 45 pounds. I carried my older one to years, 45 pounds at three years old in this. Um, and my second one I've been carrying since he was a newborn. This is a, an ergo, a type of soft structured carrier. Um, very, very easy to use. It's all just snaps. Um, it doesn't take very long to get used to how to use these ones. These ones are great from newborn up to about 40 pounds, so your typical four-year-old. Um, there's inserts you can use for newborns. Um, I just found a receiving blanket laid across the bottom. Worked fine for us um, when Austin was a newborn. And this one, again, you can do front carries, back carries, and hip carries. Find these ones are really good for nursing in too. And then we have our wrap, which is just basically a long piece of fabric, usually four to six meters long. Um, just depending on what type of carries you want to do and what size body you have. This one is, I believe, a 4.6 uh, meter. Um, and it works well for me. I, I could use a six meter as well or at least a five meter uh, would work well for some carries with me. But this is nice. This is a woven wrap. Um, they do have stretchy wraps as well, which are great for newborns. Um, but your woven will last you from newborn up until uh, about 45 pounds again. So your typical four to five year old. Lots of different ways to use this. Um, and I'll be doing lots of videos with different carries. It looks overwhelming, but once you know how to do it, um, they're very versatile. And again, not not too bulky, so they need to be in places. So those are just a few of the carriers that there are. Um, and check out my other videos for how to use all of them, and also some safety considerations for you wearing.